Happy two year anniversary to English Made Simple. Yeah, let's rock and roll, amigos y amigas. Welcome, amigos y amigas. What is up? What is up? How is it hanging? What's going down? I'll tell you what's going down. EMS turns two. My EMS baby turns two this week. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> awesome. So, amigos y amigas, welcome to the show. Some of you already know me. And for those who don't know me, my name is Milena from EnglishMadeSimple.net. I'm the host of the English Made Simple podcast. You know what's interesting? Uh, someone at a cafe recently asked me if I was from Italy because of my name. Apparently, my name is very popular in Italy. They get surprised because I'm not Italian, but I'm, you know, it's very close. I'm from uh, Serbia, actually. Uh, not from Siberia. Some people get confused between these two countries. If you have been listening to the show for a while now, you would have probably heard episode number 100, 100, uh, where we celebrated one year of the show. That was one year of the show. So that was one year ago. <laughs> OMG, oh my God. Uh, that is such a long time ago when you think about it. Um, so if you're curious, you can go back and listen to that episode, episode number 100. Um, you can learn more about me, about my past um, and how I ended up living in Australia. That was episode number 100 called It's Time to Have Fun with EMS. Enjoy. That was the name of the show. I also had a fun short interview at the end of the show. Uh, it was really funny. Um, I was interviewed by Weon Inteligente himself. <laughs> yes. Anyway, he might make an appearance uh, again, maybe in this episode. We shall see. So listen till the end. Alrighty, amigos y amigas, let me tell you what's happening today. I just want to express my gratitude. <laughs> Before we begin, I uh, just want to say that I feel honored that you are tuning in every week to listen to me. So thank you for lending me your ears. I'm very happy to know that you are still learning from the show. And I'm also happy to know that you are sharing the podcast with your friends. That's so awesome, amigos. Thank you. So today I want to take a quick peek at what we covered in the last 12 months. Um, I want to tell you about the most popular episodes in the last 12 months. So I've just uh, found some statistics and I will share the top five episodes with you. Um, and also I'm going to reveal the future about EMS. Where is the show headed? Where is it going? And then towards the end of the show, I'm going to say hello to a few people. Cool, cool bananas. <laughs> but first, let me ask you this question. What have you learned in the past two years from the show? I'm sure you have learned a couple of expressions, a couple of phrasal verbs. And apart from my bad jokes, <laughs> really, really bad jokes, I'm sure you've uh, also had the pleasure to learn something valuable, like the English grammar, phrasal verbs, and English expressions, as I mentioned. Cool. So let me just uh, quickly recap. Um, throughout the first year of English Made Simple, you also had the pleasure to listen to the show twice per week. So I used to have two episodes a week. Uh, I released a midweek episode called Short and Sweet. It was teaching you about different English expressions. 
And then later down the track, um, I had to change things a bit uh, and scrap that second show from the repertoire because it was consuming too much of my time. And now I can focus on providing other engaging and awesome content for you, okay? So now you've noticed that some of my episodes are a bit longer than normal, (laughs) than usual. (laughs) So I'm not going anywhere. You can still listen to the show every week. Now, let me give you top five things you've learned with English Made Simple according to my statistics, my episode statistics. So, number one, you've learned about phrasal verbs. Uh, This seems to be the most popular episodes, anything to do with phrasal verbs. So, for example, episode number 167 uh, called uh, deal with, that, that was another phrasal verb, to fill in, to fill in for someone. So, we've learned those phrasal verbs. Then we had phrasal verbs with take and get. Those were in episodes number 165 and 166. So those were the most popular phrasal verbs um, episodes. So number two, what have you learned with English Made Simple? One of the popular episodes was how to gain confidence with English. That was episode 002. That was my second episode I ever released. One of the first ones. So I'm a bit surprised. It's uh, it's really there up at the top. <laughs> People still uh, listen to that episode. Number three you've uh, learned with English Made Simple is the interview. My very first interview I've done on the show. Uh, and that was the interview with Nati Eustachio from Brazil. And the episode was a... Um, an inspiring story of, of her as an, as an immigrant living in the U.S. So that was, um, that was a very good episode. Uh, if you want to listen to that, you can go back and listen to episode number 162. From memory, I think that's the episode, 162. That was the interview with Nadia Stacchio. And uh, what else have we learned from English Made Simple? Ah, yes. Uh, the episode called Learn English with Netflix and TED Talks. That was kind of recent, wasn't it? That was kind of a recent episode, uh, episode number 169. And it seems to be the most downloaded episode too. It's in the top five, uh, which is cool, which is awesome. And the last big thing you've learned with EMS is um, my move to Adelaide. <laughs> I moved to Adelaide. So I moved from Melbourne to Adelaide uh, late last year. And you were there with me uh, as I made that move across from Melbourne to Adelaide. You were there with me and I was telling you about the whole move. Um, You've also heard my horror stories. Like uh, that one time when I was attacked by a bird. (laughs) Those vicious magpies. That's the name of the birds, magpies, these birds are native to Australia and they're known to attack humans um, or anything really, not just humans, they attack anything they see. Uh, I even saw one actually attacking a car. Uh, There was a motorcycle too, Uh, there was one bird flying at a motorcycle, yep. A bunch of weird crazy birds, (laughs) I tell you. (laughs) It's funny that I was never attacked in Melbourne uh, by these birds, just in Adelaide. Hmm. And then, who can forget the flying cockroach? That was the most recent experience that I shared with you in the last episode. The flying cockroach, la cucaracha. (laughs) Uh, Another thing I shared with you uh, throughout uh, in the last, well, six months since I moved uh, to Adelaide was uh, kangaroos. I went to feed kangaroos uh, in the local wildlife park here in Adelaide. I think I might go again uh, soon and send some more photos and I'll share some photos with you on Facebook and Instagram. I'll see if I can get some videos of kangaroos jumping in the park. Uh, From memory, I think there were about 40 or 50 kangaroos in that park. Uh, They also had koalas and uh, koalas, I've seen them, but um, you can't really hold them or feed them. They're a bit fragile. So if you want to hold them, there has to be somebody experienced next to you, like a park ranger or a caretaker who takes care of koalas, you know. Uh, Someone has to help you 
handle koalas and touch them because they also have really long claws and they can scratch you. Even though they look so cuddly, right? They look so cute. And lastly, you've learned some very important conversation fillers in all of my episodes throughout two years. Um, some familiar conversation fillers such as okie dokie, <laughs> already, radio, and cool bananas. You hear me say this all the time. I encourage you to use this with your friends. They're fun expressions um, and, you know, it's just really fun to use. Not boring like, okay, <laughs> just say okie dokie. So instead of saying okay to someone, you can say okie dokie just for fun. So try it with your friends. It's cool. Right, and moving along, what does the future hold for EMS? What is um, going to happen with EMS in the future? So, one second, let me just quickly look at the horoscope. <laughs> Maybe that will help. Horoscope tells future, right? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> That's a joke. Again, a really bad joke. Here is what I'm going to do in future, okay? Number one, from now on, you will get even more awesome content every week. Number two, I will share more of my experiences of living in Australia as a migrant. I think the majority of my listeners are interested to learn about kangaroos, koalas, snakes, sharks, jellyfish, uh, blue ring octopus. Well, that's the most recent thing I've just heard on the news. Uh, that's one dangerous octopus, really dangerous. You don't want to touch that thing. Uh, it bites apparently. It's small, tiny and dangerous. <laughs> just like me, uh, and it's lurking in the waters of Adelaide. So another reason I can't go swimming, okay? It's not because of sharks, it's because of that little octopus. All right, anyway, more fun and games for the next 12 months. All righty, guys, so keep listening and keep sharing with your friends. Keep sharing with your friends and your enemies, okay? Cool, uh, cool bananas. Also, I've had a look at my iTunes reviews. I just wanted to share that with you quickly. Uh, there was a delay in getting these reviews from iTunes. Um, apparently, they had some technical problems, which are now fixed, or so I'm told. Um, I had a review from China, a uh, five-star review from China. Ni hao to China. The review was written in Mandarin, I think. Now, I'm not uh, fluent in Mandarin, but I'm fluent in Google Translator. So, thank you so much uh, for your nice comments. She she, as they say in Mandarin, which means thank you. <laughs> and before we finish today's show, let me say a quick hello to Mustafa from Istanbul in Turkey. Apparently, a beautiful city, according to my sister. She's currently in Turkey with her husband, and they have extended their stay um, in Turkey. Apparently, it's a really beautiful city. They really enjoy it. So, thank you, Mustafa. Thanks for supporting the show, and thank you so much for your kind donation. And also, a quick hello to Elizabeth from Brazil. Um, Elizabeth gave me a really great idea for another episode of the show. Um uh, what she does, she maintains her English language by journaling. How awesome is that? I had never thought of that before as a tool to learn the language. Journaling is like writing in the diary, okay? Writing in the diary in, the, in English. Uh, so thanks for that idea, Bette. Uh, keep doing what you're doing and thank you so much for your kind donation. Thanks again. Also, a big hello to Nicole from Chile, who is preparing for IELTS, um, the English exam, the dreaded English exam. Um, she's going to New Zealand. Um, hola, Nicole. Nicole was my student in Chile. Good luck, Nicole. Wishing you all the very best. I know you can do it. So keep going. And amigos, the biggest compliment you can pay me um, for this two-year anniversary is to share your favorite episode with your friends. As I always say, you hear me say this all the time, sharing is caring, so share it with your friends. Also remember, you can read the transcripts uh, to all of the episodes on my website, englishmadesimple.net. 
Again, thanks so much for celebrating the two-year anniversary with moi. And thank you for supporting the show thus far. There's more cool stuff coming, so keep listening. You've been an amazing audience. You've been jamming with Milena from English Made Simple. I think it's time we rock and roll. Until next time, hasta la próxima. Oh my god, another year of this nonsense.